Okay, so in this video, we're going to find a winner for the giveaway that I carved this piece for this West Coast uh, piece of Douglas fir that I found on uh, the beach there on Vancouver Island. Um, just Carve Rob sent me a box. Look at that cool car he sent on the box. What a cool guy. Um, so inside this envelope, we're going to open it up live on camera and see who picked the lucky number. Um, I'm not going to lie, I already opened up this box last night. My camera wasn't working properly, so I couldn't uh, film opening up inside here but just carve rob has spoiled me so let's see what he sent me he sent me some spalted silver birch it's not that bad just the outside spalted thank you rob there's one piece there's another piece there's two pieces and there's this piece this piece was soaking wet i'm surprised they got it because rob lives in america i live in canada i'm surprised they let it go through the border all the um note oh where's that note that he wrote me i gotta get it the note that he wrote was in the box he sent it it was kind of like really damp so hold on a second i gotta get the note well i just can't find the note it's here somewhere i just uh can't find it so thank you very much for the uh for this basswood just carved rob i like or no this uh birchwood i like carving this birch birchwood almost more than i like carving basswood it's it's almost like carving the same type of wood okay so the carvings that he sent me this will be his win. This was from the. Uh, oh yeah, you see that there? I was grinding cheese on my food grinder to, you know, those cheese graters, and I slipped and hit my thumb on it. So yeah, and another one too that I did yesterday when I was dealing with my chainsaw. I gashed my finger here with with the chainsaw chain, and I was cleaning out my chainsaw. Long story short, I was cleaning out my chainsaw today, and I was spilled acetone down there. So you guys just maybe wear gloves, right? Get bruises and cuts. My whole hands are full of cuts and bruises and scars, so it might be good to wear gloves. <laughs> but anyway, sorry, just carved Rob. That was a nice note that he wrote. He just thanked me for everything and um, said hello to everybody in the community. Well, I thank you too, Rob, because all the carvings that you do really motivate me too. Um, you, Ben, Studio on the Lake, really, you guys' just channels really motivate me. So there was a winter challenge, uh, seasonal challenge the admins in Facebook had. I was think it was last year so you had to carve something for all the seasons so this would be his lady winter spirit that's what this one is the lady winter spirit he carved it he's got a screw in there because i think this is two pieces did a great job hiding the line there you can see it so there's lady spirit an eskimo this guy is the fire fire spirit a fire guy firehead look how you know come on just carve Rob says he's not a very good carver. Come on. That looks like it's plastic. It looks like it's manufactured. I could never carve something like that. Great job, Rob. So there's Firehead. I don't know if it's Firehead or not, but it does stand up. This table's all wonky. So let's just let this guy look. I have a nap. That's Firehead. Then we got Waterhead, uh, Driphead. So look at these two things. Come on. Come on. Little twins here. So one, one's got his thumbs in his pocket and the other guy's got his hands in his pocket. Look at those guys. Huh? Aren't they cool? I think they're... Look at those. Come on. I think they're super cool. Okay. Here's another one. This is a little gnome guy. Just carried Rob. Signed it. 2021. This is great for a reference for chainsaw carving. I'm going to start, I'm going to take this to my carving tent actually and use this as a reference. It's like he's got a rain jacket on with gum boots. So, my last one, I cut the arms off. It's got the midget arms. If you guys saw that chainsaw carving video. So, and I even sent this uh, picture to my buddy Chris Grudge. He's got a YouTube channel and a, fa a group on Facebook. Something, I don't know what his Facebook group is, but his. I think his YouTube channel is Chris Grudge 78. I sent him a picture of this because I know how much Chris loves carving the gnomes too. But this is a step up of the gnomes that um, we've been carving. Chris kind of carving the gnomes like I carve that we got the idea from Ben's studio on the lake. But this is, you know, he's got better shoes here and like a little rain jacket and stuff and better arms and stuff. And you see how he's taken the hat down a lot thinner to make the shoulders pop. So there's that guy. And look at this guy. It's a wood spirit Sasquatch. 
And the best part about this is here, look at his walking stick. It's a wood spirit. Let's get some better lighting here. It's a wood spirit. Am I ever spoiled? I'm going to need to get myself a Just Carved Raw Just Carved Reland 2021. You guys, if you haven't seen this channel, this channel's, excuse me, Just Carved Raw I'll link. I'll leave a link to it listed below. That's all you'll see. So Rob sent to these all to me as gifts. So I'm going to have to get myself a special Just Carve Rob shelf made because I got like 10 or 15 of his carvings now. So about what Ro Just Carve Rob carved for the community, a little owl to go inside here. And here it is. It's a little fluffy hooter. Yeah, he said he wanted to carve one of my original style owls. I did. I, I carved these owls. I called them fluff, fluffsters or something. I don't, I don't know if I remember that, Rob. <laughs> Well, I do, but here's a silly little owl, Robert Vreeland. So there you go. <clears throat> awesome job, Rob. Look at that. He's got a little tail there. Little eyes. That's a little fluffer. So this owl, I don't think needs to be. I've already tried. I've, put, I've hung this piece up and I've tried to sit in this in there. I think this owl sits in there just fine. Oops. It sits in there just fine. It will sit in there just fine when it's on your wall. Look at that. Huh? Look at that, Just Carve Rob. Look at that. It's it's stable in there. You made it just perfect, actually. So you don't need, I don't need to put a dowel in there. You can just watch. I'll just drop it in there really simple. Watch. Hold on. Sits in there perfect. Just a silly little owl. Sitting in some wood spirits. A green man and a wood spirit. Okay. So thank you so much for these. Why is, why is this so dark in here? Hold on. I'm going to turn it on another light. Thank you so much for these great gifts, uh, Just Carve Rob. I really do love them. Man, are those ever special? And somebody's going to win this special green man. This piece of wood was a terrible piece of wood to carve, a piece of Douglas fir. Whenever I find a piece of wood with a hole in it, I like to incorporate a Just Carve Rob. I am going to be finding another piece of wood, something like this. And I'm going to be asking Ben to studio on the lake. I haven't even contacted him about it. But if he watches this video, Ben, I'm going to be asking you sooner or later. Not yet. Maybe a few months away. If you want to do a giveaway with me, you can do a carving to fit into some kind of hole. I don't even have the piece of wood. Okay. So let's open up this envelope and see who the lucky winner is. Okay. To tell you all the truth, I forgot what number that I wrote in there. So there's a, if you took a screenshot there, there's my markings. So you can, they're exactly the same. I haven't opened this. I haven't tampered with it. There's my little bunny head guy, bear. There's a bear bunny, squirrel pig. Okay. Okay. So my camera died. So good thing I didn't open this up when it was dead. So let's get this thing opened here. Ah, I forget the number I said. I think it might be 73 the year I was born, but I just don't know. So here's the piece. Okay. So here we go, we'll open it up, and 73, the year I was born, that's gonna, whoever gets the number 73 is going to be the winner. Let me stop this video and go look and see so I can say who the winner is. Okay, I hate to say it, but there was two winners. So, Ralph Smith and Gordon Galloway, all right? Um, I could have made it so the first person that picked 70, 73 won. But since there's only two, um, for the second place, I'm going to send some Carving Fusion stickers in the envelope to wherever you're at. So you got a couple shiny ones here and the older school one here. Okay. So um, everybody knows, you should know now, I'm not a cheater. I don't I do not do things. I'm, I'm fair and I'm honest as they get. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rip these. I can't find my scissors to cut them. So I'm going to rip these two names out of here. Okay, and I'm going to put them in this can to see who the winner is. I'll take, tear some more of this off. And no, I'm not going to be looking in the can when I pick. I'm going to be turning my head. All right, so, okay, the can's empty. All right, so we'll just put the names in there. We'll give it a mix-up. This car Rob Skies keeps on falling over here. Okay, so I'm going to turn my head right now. My head is turned. And I'm going to pick one number, one name. That's it. I got one here. Ralph Smith. 
So Ralph Smith, you're the winner of this right there. So you're going to have to get a hold of me. Hold on one second here. Okay, Ralph Smith, you're going to have to get a hold of me. Look at this, Tucker, at Canadian, Canadian one dude at gmail.com. That's my email address, and you're going to have to give me your address. Okay, so Gordon, Ralph Smith is the winner. I think that's Ralph Smith was the winner. And um, Gordon Galloway, geez, Jordy, come on, get it together. Gordon Galloway, you're going to have to send me an email too at CanadianOneDude at gmail.com or if you're on Facebook, you can send me a message and I'll get this um, envelope off to you. Sorry you didn't win the main piece, but there's something, something I guess. Um, so thanks everybody. Um, a big thanks to Just Carve Rob for carving the little hooter inside this piece. And uh, I love all these carvings, Rob. Oh yeah, and I want to talk about my next tar carving that I got coming up here too. This piece of wood is a piece of uh, juniper, or a.k.a. Eastern Red Cedar, was sent to me by a subscriber. I forget who sent it. Um, I was supposed to do this as a giveaway, but uh, I don't feel like carving this piece of wood right now. So um, I did a giveaway a couple months ago. Somebody uh, picked the correct number, all right? I told I told you to email just carve Rob a number. The number was 37, and we do have a winner. So I'm going to be carving this old piece of uh, you wood. Look how haunted it is. I'm going to carve this piece for the giveaway. If he likes it. Actually, the winner's a pretty good uh, friend and uh, a huge, huge active member of the Carving Fusion community. So um, he decided that he wanted a wood spirit because I was supposed to carve a flower on this or something like that. So I'll carve this another day. So I'm going to carve that. If it doesn't turn out, I can give him something else. This is the other piece of the you wood that I, uh, this is the back side of it. Look at this piece of you wood. I cut it out for just carve Rob and I cuffed, cut it with my chainsaw to, for him to carve a wood spirit. He told me he didn't want it. You know how mystical you wood is? Pacific you wood? This is a solid piece of wood. He, he said he would rather have bark. Actually, no, I asked him if he wanted it. He never replied and I said, you'd rather have bark, wouldn't you? He goes, you know how much I like carving the bark. So, but anyways, I also have a piece of this. Um, you would blocked out for my buddy uh, Chris, the Viking warrior, so he can make pens and stuff out of it. But uh, this wood sounds so nice, so nice, so nice. It's hard wood. So, um, so then my next video will be carving this. It's not that thick. Let's hope it turns out. So it's going to be like a negative space one. I'm going to do a lot of sanding. And you know, so when you when you're using cutting the hardwood, you don't always want to use your cut saw or saber tooth burrs because they'll dull out fast. So you can use the aluminum cutting burrs too. So I'm going to go over all that. So thanks, thanks everybody for uh, for entering the challenge. Um, good job to the admins on in our group Carving Fusion World of Wood Carvers Original on uh, Facebook for the challenge they just had. I'm going to be doing this giveaway to a winner. It's not a giveaway. It's just a carving for a winner. And then I'm going to be making a challenge video within a couple of weeks for within the Facebook group, Carving Fusion World of Wood Carvers. So I'll make a video, I'll carve something, and I challenge everybody else to carve it. So congratulations to the winners. Thanks again. And um, stay tuned to carving this. I'll carve this next couple days if I get into it. Hi, Tucker. Sorry, everybody. There's one more carving that just carved Rob sent me too. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then he sent this to me too at the same time. It's a wood spirit and a piece of bark I sent them. Good job, just carved Rob. See the old droopy eyes there. This guy doesn't look like a cartoon. Nope, he looks pretty cool. I think this is the one where I told you to just go for it. <clears throat> but which is funny here. Look at those, look at the math with, uh, it's wide, two and a half wide, three and a half long. Look at Rob, he's got formulas to, to carve wood spirits. <laughs> he's got a formula to carve wood spirits, yeah. That's because he used to build spaceships back in his day when he was, uh, no, I think he used to work on the fighter jets for the army. So anyways, thanks Just Carve Rob, I love them all, I really do. And somebody's going to love that little hooter in there too. Okay, that's it. Car Fusion. Over and out. This guy, this guy doesn't want to just stay up. Stay up there. Stay up. There you go.